Okay, next one is we are going to add a toggle. And the toggle is going to turn the cube off and on. And when the cube is off and on, we're going to disable our slider over here. Now the toggle has a few parts to this. It has backgrounds, it's got check marks and all this kind of stuff. The, the text that we're interested in changing is actually under the label inside the hierarchy. So we are going to change that to cube visible. So the cube is by default visible. Um, but we're going to toggle that off and on. So what's required down here, if I go back to my toggle up here uh, in the hierarchy, is it takes an on value changed Boolean value. So I need to create a I need to create a function that takes in a Boolean value. So I'm going to create it down here. So public void toggle changed bool new value. Now I have a link to my cube, but I don't have a link to the slider. So I'm going to have to add my link to the slider here. So I'm going to create slider. Because I want to turn the slider off. I don't want to allow the user to, to change it uh, if the cube isn't visible. Um, okay. So in my canvas, I'm going to drag my slider across here. And again, I'm not dealing with game objects. It keeps my code really pure. Everything looks just, I don't need to, everything just does what it's supposed to do. So I don't need to have things like game object geo equals game object dot find blah geo dot get component slider all that kind of stuff that just clutters the code up no end. So in my toggle change what I want to do is I want to turn off the cube and I also want to disable the slider but it's depending on this new value here that I get in. So when it is checked, I want to show the slider and I'm uh, sorry, I want to enable the slider and I want to show the cube. So all I do is do cube.setActive new value. Uh, and then we have this field here called interactable and we just set it to be the new value. So interactable is a Boolean value and it just means can I alter this value in the UI? So when we go into here and we run the game, so I have my UI and it's currently visible. And when I click on cube visible, nothing happens. Why does nothing happen? Well, it turns out you have to wire up your vent handler. So uh, drag our canvas over there to our object, choose view model, and again you want to use the dynamic one because the dynamic one will get the value from the visual control rather than you typing in the value. And click on play, and now when we click the value it disappears and you'll see that this is now not interactable. So when I click on that again, I can now interact with it just fine. 